This does not taste good. <laughs> Take a look at the stems, son. What do you notice about it? They all look the same. That's where you're mistaken. The longer the stem, the tastier it is. You want a nice crunch. Juicy, but not soggy. Sweet, not bitter. Look for the ones that have been around the longest, but not too long. Try that one. <laughs> this one's gross, too. It's important to get fueled up. You never know when it'll be safe to come out again for our next meal. Not too far, Bella. <sighs> Why do we always have to be hiding? It's so small and cramped under the shed. <sighs> Don't you remember what happened to your sister? A monster! It's just a lawnmower, Brody dear. It gives our human neighbors a sense of control over nature. I'm gonna hop over there and tell them to shut that scary thing off. Absolutely not, Brody, and keep your voice down. I don't get why we can't just talk it through with them. It's a way of life we've upheld for generations. Just because our ancestors acted a certain way doesn't mean we have to. Humans and rabbits are just too different. It's better if we stay separate. Well, what about the other animals? What? Why don't we ask them not to eat us, and then we could all be friends? Same reason our fool doesn't try to have a conversation with us. Because it wouldn't do any good. We'd still have to eat. That's how life works. Everything eats. But our food doesn't have feelings. Or does it? Back inside. Everyone. Quickly. Ugh. Broccoli? I thought you loved me. It's good for you. Just eat, please, Natalie. Pretend... Pretend you're a bunny. I will not. Green is the grossest. Okay, then just eat your macaroni. I can't. Why not, Natalie? Broccoli and macaroni are just too different. You know I can't eat food if it's all mixed together. <laughs> They're barely touching. There's nothing scary about that. Can I please have a new plate with no broccoli? That would be such a waste. But you can eat it for me. You need to get over this, Natalie. You're not a baby anymore. <laughs> hey, put your teeth away. No biting. We've talked about this. Why are you being so mean? I'm not being mean. I'm sorry I snapped at you, but you're being unreasonable, kiddo. You're being unreasonable, kiddo. That's it. I'm running away. To the garage again? No. I'm really leaving this time. I'm going into nature, where no one can tell me what to do. Bring a snack with you in case you get hungry. Fine. I recommend broccoli. <coughs> Put on some sunblock, please. Don't forget your ears. Thank you. Now goodbye. Goodbye. Enjoy your freedom. Can I go back outside yet? I think she's distracted. Not yet, Bella. I'm hungry. Remember what we always say. Better, Better to, to be hungry, hungry than, than to, to be food. food. Exactly. I don't think she wants to eat us. I think she looks nice.
can't go outside today. So here I wait underneath the shed. Stuck here underground and stuck inside my head. I think I made my mommy mad again today. I didn't mean to make her sad, but Broccoli, are you kidding me? She doesn't give me what I want, but I'm always doing what she wants, and that's why it was time to run away. The world is kind of scary, but it's so big and so exciting. I'm ready for so much more. I'm ready now to go explore. The world is so much bigger than the tiny world I've known. And so far now, though I don't know how, I just need to get some space. They say, sorry honey, but you can't go out there even when it's nice and sunny. Remember what happened to your little sister, that was far from funny. Sometimes it's hard to be a bunny. Yeah, sometimes it's hard to be a bunny. They say, you shouldn't fight, you shouldn't fight. You should just be a cute little light. The world is a place to behave and belong, not a fire to ignite. Sometimes it's hard to be a girl. Yeah, sometimes it's hard to be a girl. The world is so much bigger than the tiny world I've known. But they won't let me see it all until I'm fully grown. I feel so small, don't know. So for now, though I don't know how, I just need to get some space. Oh, sometimes it's hard to be so small. But we won't let that stop us, not at all. Oh no. You can talk? Oh no. Oh no, that's just the sound bunnies make. Oh no, nothing to see here. Oh no. Uh, my name's Natalie. Hey, no humans allowed! Brody, no! Don't say anything! It's too late, Dad. I messed up out there. She knows we can talk. Yeah, I didn't know rabbits could talk. That's really funny. Now be gone! This hole is bunnies only! Get out of my house. You stink like a mouse. There just isn't room. And I feel so angry! Brody, use your inside voice. Kids, stay back! What? Because of me? You don't have to be scared of me. Everybody, quick! Play dead! But she said we don't have to be scared. She's lying. Are you calling me a liar? I knew she was going to eat us. What? I wasn't going to eat you. Just bite you. And not even that hard. Why would you bite someone if you're not going to eat them? Because that's what I do when people are mean to me. Or when they lie and say I'm a liar. You shouldn't do that. And why not? Because they'll probably think you're trying to eat them. And that's really scary. Oh, I... I never thought about it that way. That's because you're not a rabbit. But I could be. Do you think... Do you think I could stay here with you? I'm a runaway. The human world is annoying. I don't really fit in there. You won't fit in here either. There's not enough room. <laughs> Maybe we should let her stay. Sure, she's huge. And a little unusual. But she knows our secret now. Who knows if she can keep it? Maybe it's better that she adapts to rabbit life. I wouldn't mind having another child to take care of. After losing Brooklyn. But Natalie's poor mother. 
Natalie, why exactly did you run away? I'm not happy out there. Other kids don't like me. And today, my mommy tried to make me eat food that I don't even like. My macaroni was touching my broccoli. That's not so bad. Half the time my food is touching mouse poop. What's macaroni? Well, Natalie, maybe your mother was trying to make sure your diet is well balanced and... Uh... Oh, Natalie, that's terrible. I had no idea your mother was so cruel. Uh... Oh, oh, yes. What a travesty. You can stay here with us for as long as you need. What? Really? Thank you. My mom said be a bunny. Well, now that's just what I'll do. Because these rabbits say that I can stay and play all day. The new me is a rabbit like the rest of them. With brothers Blake and Brody, sister Bella, mother Beth and daddy Bradley. But will it be funny being a bunny? Making a home in this hole. If I fall in being a rabbit maybe I'll rock this new role hmm if I am gonna stay I may need to make some changes around here uh. now Brody be kind change can be scary but it's important to welcome it into our lives sometimes. What are you looking at? I I've never seen a hawk eat grass before. <sighs> That's what they all say. It's not right, Harvey. It's unnatural, Harvey. Green is the grossest. But what's so wrong with eating grass? Nothing. I do it all the time. Are you g gonna try to eat me? Oh, no way. Rabbits are rad. Rabbits get me. I knew it. I knew not all hawks are bad. My name's Blake. Yeah, I'm Harvey. Say, how's this neighborhood? I'm tired of moving around so much and not feeling welcome no matter where I go. I've been trying to find a safe place to land for a while now. I mean... I haven't been alive for very long, and I don't get out much, but it's pretty good, I think. You should stay in the area. Maybe we could be friends. Would you really want to be my friend? Of course. So why don't you eat the stuff other hawks eat? Well, when I was just a bit older than a fledgling, I flew into a fence and broke my wing. Couldn't fly and couldn't hunt, so I ate from the ground. Found a mouse on occasion, but here is the thing. Uh, I looked in those little mouse eyes and, well, I just couldn't do it. Though I tried with all my might, had to listen to my heart when it told me what felt right. When my wing healed up all better, back to my home I found my way. Didn't know what they might say when I told them of that day. The sky was gray, and they said, Harvey, you can't stay. They wouldn't let me inside, they just locked me out and mocked me. They had no respect for my pride. So it was no more home for Harvey. Uh, but it's okay. At least now I can be who I want to be. So that's my story. My diet's mostly made of the same stuff as yours. And my wing is good as new. I just met one of our neighbors. Oh, you look 
look so excited. Was it one of the bunnies from next door? Blakey's got a crush. Hey, no I don't. Well, it's not mating season yet, son. And you're a little young, so... Oh, but love is so exciting. Just remember, Blake, if a female jumps straight up in the air like that, it means she likes you. He's a hawk. I met a hawk. He's about our age, and he's really nice, and he's vegetarian, so he won't eat us. Cool. Do you know what could have happened to you, Blake? I can't lose any more of my family. Harvey's different, Dad. No. Any hawk that tells you they're vegetarian is just making up a story to earn your trust. How do you know this isn't the very same hawk who took your sister? You know Dad's right, Blake. Dad's always right. I don't know, Brody. Just this morning he was wrong about those dandelions. I guess that's true. They did not taste good. And he was so sure. Just like he seemed so sure about this. And about Natalie. But sometimes people are wrong. Even our parents make mistakes. Parents don't make mistakes. Say, where do you keep your toothbrushes? Toothbrushes? Never heard of it. What's a toothbrush? You know, a toothbrush. To clean your teeth in the morning and before bed. I forgot to bring one, so I thought maybe you had an extra. We don't have much stuff. Our lifestyle doesn't call for material possessions. No toothbrushes? No TV? Hmm. Natalie, if you want to live with rabbits, you have to live like the rabbits do. It's a simple fact of life. <sighs> <laughs> Having second thoughts, newbie? You'll never be cool enough to be a bunny. Go back to human land. Now, now, Brody. This is Natalie's decision to make. I miss my mom. And, and taking care of your teeth is important. But... At least I'm not the smallest one around anymore. On the bright side, we've been talking about remodeling for a while now. are for, silly. Friends? Maybe you aren't so bad. And you don't smell very bad. Sorry you haven't been so nice. But put me down now! This isn't gonna work out, is it? I know it's sad, but I'm not leaving forever. I'm just not staying forever either. That does sound like the right decision, Adley. I'm proud of you, and your mom will be so happy. Natalie, dinner time. <sighs> I'm gonna miss you. Don't go. I'll come back and visit soon. I promise. And you'll be welcome anytime. Remember, you can't tell the other humans about us. Your secret's safe with me. So, how was your life on the run today, Natalie? It was hilarious. Rabbits can talk. And sometimes, hawks are vegetarian. <laughs> that sounds like quite the adventure. It was, but don't tell anyone. I'm glad you decided to come home. Me too. They told me I shouldn't bite anyone anymore. Oh, good. Smart bunnies. I think that's a really good goal, Natalie. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you, too, for being a good mom and making me buttered noodles. Hey, you want to give broccoli another try? It's much better than dandelions. <laughs> you were eating dandelions? You're the one who said I should be a bunny. 
Our home got much bigger today thanks to Natalie. Thank goodness. What should we do with all this extra space? It could be a separate bedroom for the kids. But I like to cuddle. Me too. Okay, then a home gym? No, honey. I think I have an idea. Hi, my name's Harvey. Hey, only rabbits and humans allowed. Wait, Brody, let's give him a chance. We were scared of Natalie at first too, remember? I I'm harmless, I swear. And while I'm here, I'll make it my mission to convert every predator in the tri-state area to vegetarianism. Please, I have no one else. We can only count on one moment at a time. Sure, that's scary. But if the only feeling we feel is fear, well, guess we're very wary. Without our friends and family, it would be so much scarier. Maybe that is why they say, the more the merrier. We have to learn to trust. We have to learn to love. Every bird is different, be it a penguin, hawk, or dove. And if we only care about the people just like us, well, that isn't very kind and it isn't very just. The world could be more kind and a lot more fun if we open up our hearts and make room for everyone. The world could be more kind. Thank you.